Good morning and welcome to today's Finance Committee hearing. Uh, my name is Julissa Ferreras Copeland. I'm the chair of the committee. I'd like to first acknowledge the members that have joined us, Council Members Cornegy, Rosenthal, uh, Levine, Gibson, and Rodriguez, and I know other members will be joining us. Before I continue, I'd like to extend my condolences, our condolences, to Minority Leader Matteo and his family on the loss of his father yesterday. We'd also um, like to, I'm sure we're going to be doing something um, in the stated session today, but he's a member of this committee and someone we greatly respect. And I know that he and um, had spent many days during our budget negotiations, also um, at the side of his ailing father. Um, so we, we wish him uh, um, our sincerest condolences. Um, and you know, the life cycle is the life cycle. We also want to congratulate our other committee member, um, Council Member Lori Cumbo, on the birth of her beautiful Prince Noah. Um, she looks like a beautiful mommy and is very excited, so we'd like to congratulate her also on the birth of her son. Um, so with that being said, Today, the committee will be voting on two bills. The first, a pre-considered introduction introduced by request of the mayor, concerns the levying of a surcharge on wireless communication service. Since 2002, the city has imposed a monthly 30 cent sub charge, surcharge on wireless communication services, providing revenue that goes to support the operation of public safety communications network serving the city. This year's state budget included a new provision that requires the council to enact new legislation to extend the current surcharges, uh, as well as to levy a new 30 cent surcharge on prepaid wireless communication services. The state, not the city, would now administer the surcharge, but the city will continue to use these funds for public safety communication purposes. Finally, I would note that OMB assumed the continuation of the current surcharge in fiscal 2018's adopted financial plan. If the city elects not to adopt the new legislation, Council Finance estimates that there would be a shortfall of $11.1 .1 million in fiscal 2018. The second bill that the committee will vote on this morning is a pre-considered introduction sponsored by Council Member Deutsch that would increase the maximum qualifying income for the senior citizen's homeowner exemption and the disabled homeowner's exemption, otherwise known as she and D. Uh, both she and D, uh, which, are lear are, le which we learned yesterday at yesterday's hearing will now be rebranded as the New York City Tax Breaks for Homeowners Program a property tax exemption that operates by exempting a percentage of properties assessed value from the taxation. Currently, seniors and people with disabilities are eligible to receive the tax exemption if the combined income of all property owners is less than $37,400 a year. This threshold has not been increased since it was set in 2006, even as property taxes and inflation have continued to rise. Pursuant to a state-signed bill into law at the end of July, the City Council is now voting on a local law to increase the income eligibility threshold to $58,400, thereby providing benefits to thousands more seniors and people with disabilities. Uh, do any members have any questions concerning either of these bills? And we've been joined by Council Member Miller. Um, seeing no questions, I will now ask Billy Martin, committee clerk, to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on finance. Items are coupled. Chair Ferreris Copeland. I vote aye. Rodriguez. Aye. Gibson. Aye. Cornegie. Levine. Aye. Miller. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. A vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you, we will keep the roll open for an additional 10 minutes. So staff, if your members are making their way here, please be sure to have them be here within the next 10 minutes so that they can uh, be counted for today. Thank you so much.